I'm Sarah Plouffe. I'm the director of the Student Work Placement Program for ESDC, Government of Canada. So what is the Student Work Placement Program and why has the government undertaken this initiative? What does it hope to achieve, basically? The Student Work Placement Program is a program that brings together employers from across the country to uh, work with students, post-secondary students from colleges, universities, and polytechnics uh, across the country to help them gain the experience that they need through their program of studies to hit the ground running and be better able to transition right into the labor market once they graduate and be able to contribute more effectively to employers' bottom lines and productivity and to the labor market and to Canada's economy. The program was actually developed uh, with the intention to help students and help employers because both of them were coming to us a few years ago before the um, institution of the program to explain that students were investing incredible amounts of time, energy and resources into getting their credentials from post-secondary institutions. But at the end of it all, they didn't have the experience uh, on their CV that employers were looking for to hire them. And on the other side of things, we were hearing from employers, they were in a dire situation, they needed to find new talent and they needed to access these talent pools of new graduates and they wanted to hire them. Um, but they found that there was a little bit of a disconnect between the skills that um, the students possessed and what they really were looking for in terms of new hires and new candidates to help them in their businesses as things evolve so, so quickly in today's labor market and today's economy that is a very global economy market. And so by, by bringing the two worlds together and facilitating some of those um, student employer matchups and allowing them to happen earlier on the career path or trajectory for students, it allows for uh, them to learn the skills that they need earlier on and to be more productive more quickly. Maybe you could explain the importance of work integrated learning or will for students in Canada's colleges and universities and why it is critical to the success uh, of our future economy and for the electricity sector in particular, if you can. From the data that we have seen, um, surveys uh, sent out to students, they recognize that the best way, the, one of the easiest ways for them to learn uh, is through experience and through doing things and in a workplace setting. And that is, I think, why we uh, understand that learning theory is great. Uh, learning about practice is great. If you can bring those two worlds together in a workplace setting and actually apply your theoretical learning into a very concrete workplace setting, it uh, marries the boat, best of both worlds and really brings together uh, the fastest, quickest, most efficient way to learn and onboard new, um, new candidates in your workforce. Specifically for the electricity sector, we know that this is a high technology sector that evolves so quickly and not to throw any of the education institutions under the bus, but we know that they are evolving their programs um, sometimes their programs may not be evolving quite as quickly as technologies in the labor market and in those big electricity companies. And so I think um, allowing the students and to participate in work integrated learning within the workplace, even before graduation, can help them learn about those new machinery new technologies, new ways of doing things that are actually happening on the ground as they keep learning uh, about the, the theory uh, behind all of these uh, new technologies. Essentially, what you're saying is we need perhaps more connection between the academic world and the business world, in, the, in this case, the electricity sector. Absolutely. I think we all gain from having a um, more kind of integrated system employers that are um, informing the education world and education that is supporting the employer and labor market reality. So the more exchanges we create between those two worlds, the more efficient our labor market becomes and the best um, uh, markers we can get on the, on the easy transition for students and the um, best return on their education investments. How has the pandemic 
impacted the ability of students to engage in work integrated learning? And what will the consequences be of those changes, let's say, in the way we do things uh, on the future workforce? Yes, uh, this pandemic has really had uh, significant impact on youth at large. Uh, if we look at the statistics out there from Statistics Canada and the Labour Force survey numbers, out of all the subgroups of population that are seeing a little bit of a positive increase in numbers of employment uh, through the pandemic and some of its recovery phases, youth uh, are at a disadvantage there. They are the group that has been left behind. And so any effort that we can contribute to getting them involved in work integrated learning can buffer um, the impact of this pandemic longer term for them. Um, for us at the Student Work Placement Program, we were looking at a reduction of at least 50% in placements at this time last year when the pandemic started in March 2020. Um, we had reached out to all of our delivery partners in a variety of sectors, including electricity and employers in all of those sectors were predicting and projecting um, at least 50% reductions in their student hiring over the summer and the fall. We've been very lucky We've worked very hard in implementing some flexibility measures and some additional program investments that have compensated for that uh, pandemic effect on youth um, employment. And through the student work placement program, we've actually invested uh, 266 additional million dollars, so over $400 million this year. And we've um, accomplished so many great things we've allowed uh, for thousands and thousands of additional students. We've not only met the original targets, but we've surpassed the original targets for this year. And uh, intake is, is ongoing and continuing, and we hope to be able to do the same for next year's. So looking at the electricity sector specifically, how can we best train uh, electricity workers of the future and for the long term through uh, work integrated learning programs? I think for the electricity sector, I see the numbers and I know that there is a very low proportion of women that are actually participating in this sector in a very active way. And this proportion is increasing uh, due to uh, organizations like EHRC uh, who are working very, very hard to, um, you know, send out the message and explain to youth and to students and to females what uh, occupations and career uh, are offered to them and are uh, available to them in the electricity sector. I think that we need everyone's participation in this sector. It is uh, a sector that is booming right now that will continue to evolve as we are all looking to have a greener um, future and, and generate electricity that uh, does not pollute our planet. Um, I, it has so much potential and so much growth in front of it. I think Canada is a world leader in electricity um, management and generation. And I think that is something that is going to move forward and, and see continued over the next decades. What kind of partnerships do you think are essential uh, to ensure that students can prepare themselves for the future of work in electricity? Yes, well, as you know, um, the student work placement program and partnership that we were able to establish between the federal government and some of the uh, sector organizations is so key uh, in bringing together employers and academia and students on working towards the same objective. And of course, when we're talking about education, there's always uh, the provincial and territorial governments that are very much involved and central to all of this process. And we fully recognize that by working all of us together, it is the best and most efficient way to promote uh, efficient labor market and having access for students with to the best, best training and quality of workplace learning opportunities. And um, I think it's not a one stop shop or one group or one organization or one uh, sector of the economy that can do this on their own. Uh, it absolutely needs to be a team effort. 
And we are happy to be contributing to that and recognize the value um, that is brought by other uh, groups within the ecosystem. And it, it takes a village, really. We, we are all, I think um, a lot of us recognize the value in work integrated learning and the value of having the right partnerships and the right people around the table to drive this forward. And without everyone's participation, it would be very difficult to arrive at the same result. Can you describe the current state of work integrated le learning supply and demand in, in Canada today? And are we fulfilling the needs of our future workforce uh, with the opportunities they need for success? I worked in the education field more broadly for um, the last 20 years. And only during the last five years have I been more directly involved within work integrated learning. And I've been learning myself about this sector and about the demands for it because at the onset when we set up the student work placement program, we uh, definitely were in a significant imbalance and all Although um, federal supports and wage subsidies cannot answer all of the demand out there, I think there is a, a growing understanding, both from students and from employers, that uh, work integrated learning is actually a win-win scenario for both of them. So employers are seeing more value in investing in will, and students are seeing more value in them participating because they know that once they graduate, they will have all of these potential employers to work with. They will have a CV with all of that experience on it. And um, employers are now, I think, getting to the point where they recognize the value of having youth within their organizations that have the right skill set, but that also have the right mindset and that bring the creativity and the energy that they need to kind of keep propelling their businesses to the next level. Finally, if you had 30 seconds to pitch to someone in a position of power in Canada with the goal to strengthen and to improve how Canada trains its future workforce and specifically, if possible, our electricity workforce, uh, who would you pitch and what would you urge him, her or them to do in 30 seconds? Well, I think maybe I'll surprise you. Um, with this one. I think uh, the person of power that I would like to address my comment to would be parents uh, across the country. They have a lot of influence and a lot of power to guide uh, their children's career choices and career pathways and the confidence levels and the interest that they bring to um, their, their education choices. And so I would encourage uh, parents across the country to recognize the value of work integrated learning and of uh, workplace experience for their children. And I would put them on that path to uh, really, you know, let them experience the different opportunities that there are out there before committing to a long-term uh, career path and just experiencing the different realities and learning from that and just propelling themselves um, forward at every moment and every step.